guys, my name is Abby O'Clements, and for today's experiment, you guys are going to be creating baking soda eggs around a secret item. Now, in this case, your secret item isn't going to be so secret because you're going to know what it is, but instead of just dissolving the egg to find out what's inside, we also wanted you guys to be creating them and building them yourselves. Um, and then over our Zoom today, we're going to discuss what might be in each of your eggs because you all have different things. So um, now we're going to head inside for an introduction to some rocks and minerals to get this activity started, and then we'll start building. Before we start today's activity, I just wanted to go over some more information with you guys, starting with geology basics. Minerals are defined as naturally occurring inorganic solid substances that have definite chemical formulas. So each specimen would have exactly the same makeup and an ordered internal crystalline structure. Minerals grow together to form rocks and crystals. If a mineral is allowed to grow without interference from other minerals, it can form crystals. Minerals crystallize under many different situations, such as when seawater evaporates or magma slowly cools. Rocks are made of minerals as well, and are classified into groups by the processes in which they are formed. Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic are these three processes. Now for some more information on these three classifications. Rocks are constantly changed by forces in nature and over periods of thousands of years can even be changed from one type to another. Igneous rocks form from the cooling of melting rock, either lava or magma, into solid form, either on Earth's surface or underground. Sedimentary rocks form on or near the surface of the earth. Wind, weather, and water break rocks into pieces and eventually they settle into layers and can cement together to form sedimentary rock. Metamorphic rocks form when intense heat and pressure cause existing rocks to change in a process known as metamorphose. These rocks are often pushed up to the surface of the earth by the movement of tectonic plates or are revealed by erosion on earth's surface. As we get started on our experiment, I've laid out all of our materials. We're going to start with baking soda, which is currently being stored in this container, but eventually will be moved to this smaller container when we measure out half a cup of it. Then over here we have our dish soap, which won't be used until later, and our vinegar, which also won't be used until later. We have our glass bowl for putting our egg in, and parchment paper, which is optional. You can use it if you have some at home, but you don't need it. And then we have our color options. I'm using paint, but you can also use food coloring. Here I have our one teaspoon measuring cup and our rocks, which are gonna go inside of our egg and our syringe. But instead of the syringe, you guys have a plastic pipette. To start, I'm going to carefully rip this parchment paper off of the roll being very careful. And then I'm going to place this piece of parchment paper into my glass bowl so that it covers the bottom. And carefully wrap it around the edges. Like I said, you don't need parchment paper, but I had some available, so I decided to use some. It also helps with um, the mess in case anything is spilled. Now we're all set with the parchment paper for the rest of our experiment. Now what we're going to do is carefully take this off, but we are going to be pouring our baking soda into the smaller measuring cup to measure out our one half cup of baking soda. Now that we have our half cup of baking soda, I'm gonna set that aside for now. I grabbed a popsicle stick to mix in my color, but you guys can also use a spoon or other items you may have in your kitchen to mix it in. I'm going to choose blue for this experiment, but again, you can choose whatever color you'd like. As you use your popsicle stick or spoon to scoop out your color and slowly mix it around, remember that the baking soda may end up sticking to the paint as it did with my experiment here. So just have some patience and um, what helped us is to um, take the paint and um, maybe put water in it to make it a little bit liquidier because it's thick from sitting 
and then kind of like plop it into it and then just keep mixing it might take you a few minutes and that's okay but don't give up on it um, if you find that a color doesn't work, you can also use a totally different color. Now that I have my blue color all mixed into my baking soda, we're all set to go on to the next step. Remember guys, you can use whatever color you want. You can also, I didn't do this, but you can also use multiple colors if you want to mix it up. Try something fun. Now we're going to use our one teaspoon measuring spoon to measure out four teaspoons of water which can be poured directly right after each other right into this cup with our baking soda to continue mixing. Now that I have added my four teaspoons of water to this container, I'm going to take my popsicle stick or your spoon or whatever else you've been using and mix around the baking soda and water. We're trying to get um, the water to be mixed in fully, so try to get underneath and not just the top. Mix it around, let the water get absorbed by the baking soda. And the amount of water we used wasn't a standard amount, so if you feel like you need to add more, you can, but only do a little bit at a time, because once you add too much, you can't go back. The water is to help the egg stick together, so you want enough water to help it stay in shape, but you also don't want too much that it um, makes it crumble. Now what we're going to do is um, pick up a little bit of our baking soda and start trying to push it together to create our egg. Now I'm doing it right over the cup so that if it falls and creates a mess, hopefully most of it falls back into the cup and then that way we can also reuse it. But what I'm doing is I'm pinching it together, but as you can see, it's falling apart. It's a little crumbly, so I added a teeny bit more water to be really careful as you do this but sort of mold your baking soda into a shape so we have to be very really careful this whole time because it's really crumbly but what we're gonna do is make like an egg shape with our little rocks and minerals that you have so I've created kind of a circle. egg shape bottom at and then what I'm going to do is put my rock or two rocks in my hand and then continue adding baking soda around it like this. Now in this case you actually know what's going to be in your egg but if you want you can do this experiment again on your own and put something else inside of it. Now, don't hide any of your parents' things, but if you want to do a good thing for one of your siblings and put something inside it, you can do that. And just keep patting around it. And then I would advise you to use all the baking soda that you have, because you have it, so might as well use it. So now what I've done is use as much of the baking soda that I can. And now I'm just lightly tapping it so it doesn't break apart. Smoothing over all of the cracks. I want it to be in this tight. If you have extra baking soda that won't stick, that's okay. It's better to take it off than have the whole thing crumble. But I have a ball here kind of an egg shape. Do that. So now what I'm going to do is carefully place it in my parchment paper bowl. Very carefully because I don't want to want it to break upon impact. Continue keeping it shaped. I'm going to fix it a little. And now there we have my egg. Now what I'm going to do is put my whole container in the freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour. It doesn't need to be long, just enough for it to harden a little bit so that when you take it out of the freezer, you can pick it up without it breaking. And while this is in the freezer, I'm going to clean up my area because I made a little bit of a mess. Now we've taken our dish out of the freezer, so we're going to carefully pick up the egg 
Take out the parchment paper and then place the egg back in the glass bowl. You can use any big bowl you want, but I suggest a clear glass bowl so you can watch what's happening from the top and the sides. Now what we're going to do is pour some of our Dawn dish soap over the egg on top of it and on, around it inside on the bottom of the bowl. Now we're going to grab our white vinegar and I have this large bottle that I'm using but you guys have a smaller bottle included in your kit. And we don't have a set amount that we're using, we're just pouring some in a cup or a bowl. In this case, I'm going to reuse my measuring cup because it saves me from having to wash something else, but you guys can use anything you have. Now that I have some vinegar in a cup poured on the side, we're going to use a syringe. You guys all have a plastic pipette in your kits. And what you're going to do is watch the reaction that happens as you spray the baking soda with your vinegar. So as you can see, what happens is a very cool reaction between the baking soda and the vinegar, That's which creates these bubbles. And you're just going to keep adding with the syringe more and more vinegar. <laughs> so fun! If you run out of vinegar in your cup, you can always add more vinegar to the cup. You're making a mess. <laughs> this is what happens. Slowly, what you put in the middle of the egg should be revealed, but it might take a few minutes. Now we have added more vinegar to our cup because we ran out, and we're going to continue spraying our egg, which as you can see, has very much dissolved. Now that our baking soda has pretty much fully dissolved due to the vinegar, we're going to spray a little bit more, but um, you can slow down with it. It's up to you how much vinegar you want to use. You can keep using it and play around with it, or you can slow down with it. Um, in this case, I just tried to finish what was left in my bowl so that I didn't have to waste it. But as we zoom in here, you can see the reaction that has been caused by the vinegar and the baking soda mixing. It's created all these bubbles and air pockets. And now what you guys can do is if you want, you can touch it. But once you touch the vinegar, before you touch your face or touch anything else, you should wash your hands. Now you guys can feel free to reach into your bowl and feel around for the mixture. And you're trying to find your rocks, remember? So here we pulled out our first rock. And then we're going to set it aside on a paper towel for later. But as you feel the mixture, can you feel the baking soda already settling along the bottom? The bubbles were created on top, but if you reach down to the bottom of the bowl, you can feel the thicker consistency, which is the baking soda settling. And now we found our second mineral, mineral or rock, which may have discolored due to the um, food coloring or paint you use, but that's okay. We set that aside. And if you guys want to feel free to continue feeling the consistency of the mixture, you can do that, but just be careful not to make too much of a mess. And again, it looks really cool, and you can definitely feel the thicker baking soda already separating. Now our experiment is finished, and it's time to clean up. As my sister and I cleaned up from this experiment and we poured out our mixture into the kitchen sink, we felt it 
continuing to separate a little bit. So as you can see from these pictures, we're showing you that the baking soda started to kind of crumble apart again as the mixture thickened out and the liquid evaporated or dissolved fully into the baking soda. So this is just a few images of what yours may also look like. As we close, thank you all for participating and we hope you had fun with this experiment. And thank you for participating in our virtual summer STEM week. We hope to see you back in person next year and enjoy the rest of your week.